Yo, how is it going, everyone? Welcome back to Skill Catch. My name is Jack, and oh my god, it's been a lively 24 hours in the Valorant world. A new agent enters the fold, and there's been leaks on leaks on leaks. Today, we will be breaking down everything you need to know about the information tsunami that's just hit, so you won't want to miss out on this one. With that, let's get to our question of the day. Super to the point today, what do you guys think of our newest agent? If you haven't seen any of the news yet, watch the whole video then answer. But if you're already keyed in, let's talk about it in those comments down below. I'll be fishing through all of them because I really want to hear your guys' thoughts, especially today. Speaking of that new agent, we got a full gameplay reveal courtesy of good old Riot Games, even though it was on a weird time schedule. Thanks, Riot. And we'll quickly run that trailer if you somehow haven't seen it. Roll it. You can tell a person's character by their first action. Check me then, eh? It's a bullseye. Only time I like that I ever hate from There's a red and blue light that'll sing their song. I don't. Where you at? Yeah, where you come from? You know, Nothing up. Who you wanna be called? You dead. Leave your body. Move a leg. Everybody here. Welcome Move to Travis. One to the right now, one to the left. Never stay still. And the continuation. Now, the end. We are above them. Anything I want, but they gotta take that. Tell them what I want, so I'll never leave them. Whole team, Better luck can next never break life. Break Protect it all costs, yeah, like a wave gap. Relax, my friend. Time and space, sir. <laughs> they know what you think. Don't miss such a bullseye. Such a bullseye. As usual, writer on their sh stuff with the media. This trailer is another bopper and a half with a great soundtrack, and we now know a lot about our next controller, Astra. This trailer obviously doesn't give us many specifics, but we see a smoke ability, an ability that appears to pull enemies into it, and then some kind of stun or concussion ability, and the final piece of the puzzle is Astra using a viper wall that's been juiced up on the finest steroids in the business, went to the gym, hit the bench, hit the squat rack, started deadlifting a thousand pounds, and said, don't worry coach, I'll put the team on my back. So all of it looks like Astra may be a jack of all trades, but perhaps master of none controller, more on that in a second. We don't yet know how many of each smoke, stun, and pull things she can carry, as well as obviously her economy, but thanks to the man, the myth, the mic over at Valor Leaks, we do have great specific details about Astra's abilities. Our first ability here is Nebula. You enter Astra's astral form, try and say that three times fast. You place a star on the map, then activate it to transform it into a Nebula smoke. I'll get into my thoughts here in just a second, by the way. We're going to run through the other abilities first, then dig into them after. Her second star variation is the Nova Pulse. The Nova Pulse is placed like her other stars, but when activated, it charges for a brief moment, then concusses all players in its area. This doesn't specify if it's line of sight, or if it's a radius shown on the ground or in some way indicated. Her third variation is the Gravity well. Players in the area are pulled towards the center before it explodes when activated. After it blows up, the players who were trapped are now fragile. Her last main ability is the ability Dissipate, where you use F by default on a star, returning it to your inventory to be replaced at a later time, and when a star is dissipated, a fake nebula appears before it returns home. And lastly, her ultimate is activated from within the astral form, and is called Cosmic Divide. When you are in the astral plane, you use your secondary fire to aim Cosmic Divide. Then with primary fire, select two locations that will create a wall connecting them. This wall blocks bullets and heavily dampens audio. Now that we're done with that info dump, my initial impressions are, this looks pretty insane on the surface. Now I'm kind of guessing here, but I really don't think you'll get more than three stars around, and you can either dedicate those to all smokes or all stuns or a gravity bouncy castle, or maybe a mix of those three. The biggest question mark here to me is her economy and kit potential. Like, what are the limits here that keep Astra in balance with other controllers, but also allow her a unique role in the game? Because she sort of steals ideas from other agents, right? The ability to place you to utility anywhere on the map, kind of like Omen. A stun, like what happens from a Cypher tripwire, and of course the Chad Ultra Viper Wall Ultimate. Astra will either make those other agents irrelevant because she does those aspects of both, or herself become irrelevant because the specializations of those other agents are more valuable overall. Like, take her smoke for example. If she can only have one or two smokes or is limited in some way, then Omen still retains his great sustain from the rechargeable smokes making him more valuable in longer drawn out rounds, and Brimstone has better one-off execute value from his simultaneously deployment of three smokes. 
I think Astra's neutral game kit has the possibility of being quite good, but I don't know how good it will be in practice. But it's definitely not all doom and gloom here, because people might just take her as a second or main controller because of that ultimate. Cosmic Divide might be the new Killjoy lockdown in terms of how it changes how we approach Valorant. Assuming that we can rotate it and place it very freely, this also can be an instant round winning execute tool. The fact it goes to the skybox, so Jet can't go AC-130 and ruin you from above. The fact it's a gigantic piece of soundproofing, just like my room now, and will make it harder to hear the team that cast it and it blocks bullets. Dude, like, okay, bro. This is a hugely impactful ability off the rip. I like that they are very clear here. This wall only blocks bullets, so if you make it too obvious with what you're doing, Aegis with damage utility can still absolutely spoil the push. But overall, this ultimate is crazy, and crazy enough that Astra could have a subpar kit in her neutral game and still be a key piece to a winning team overall. All in all, I still have a lot of questions about Astra, which means I'm not going to be saying that all other controllers are now useless just yet, and those answers probably won't come to us until Tuesday. But if nothing else, she might be the most interesting agent to ever come to the game in terms of like the vision that Ryder tried to come across with her. But that's just my take. Once again, I'm going to circle back to our question of the day. Let me know how you guys feel about Astra in those comments down below. I definitely see a lot of potential here, but I just don't know. We don't have enough specifics yet for me to make a judgment call here. But wait, there's even more news. Yesterday was not only the reveal and subsequent freakout over Astra, we also got loads of details from players and leakers. Once again, please go follow Valor Leaks because Mike is a homie and a legend and a gentleman and a scholar and he's always, always keeping us up to date with this kind of information. And he, along with other people, gave us more details from the episode Act 2 preview event that's happened recently. Mainly a lot of cool new stuff from the Battle Pass. So while cosmetics are a bit out of my normal purview, but we're here, so let's talk about some new drip coming on Tuesday. Focusing on skins here because no one buys the Battle Pass just for the player cards, at least I hope not, we're getting another addition to the Prism skin suite with this new Battle Pass Prism 3 collection. Prism 3 focuses on great metallic color palettes and simple but effective variations. For me, it just reminds me of the metallic and chrome paint options I would always, always sell out for in Need for Speed games, and it looks just as good here in Valorant for me. Prism 3 will feature on the classic Judge, Odin, and the Battle Pass Melee, which is another axe style melee, but the lines and shapes here are very slick, very clean. It really does look good in my opinion, even though it's not as out there as other axes like from Prime and Glitch Pop 2, but for me, this is a good looking melee, especially that green and pale pink color variants, those are really doing it for me. The green reminds me of that real nice metallic green that Bow Wow had on his Hulk car in um, the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Yeah, you know, anyone who knows what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That's like dead on perfect. It's the first thing I saw. Moving on, we got the Polyfrog Collection. This skin set is very out there for Valorant with mashups of teal and metallic light blue and greens with this sort of like pale green and white background clashing very nicely with the deep reds. And of course, our namesake, a polygonal frog. Honestly, these look better than I gave them credit for initially, especially, especially that Sheriff. Oh boy, that one looks good. And lastly for skins, we got the Cavalier Collection, and ooh, 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 oh man, I gotta get this off my chest. Number one way to sucker me into skins are these aesthetics. The gunmetal gray, the wood color, and the blue accents, the blue lights. Oh, it's just straight fire, dude. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this set has a Bucky, which looks really, really good. A ghost that might actually be my new favorite ghost in the game. This one looks insane. I mean, look at this bad boy. The lines, the shapes, the wood accents, the blue lights, the gunmetal. It just, oh, it all comes together perfectly. And it really does appeal to me. It just looks amazing. We got an operator and a stinger as well, both looking real hot. Then finally, the big boy, the vandal which also looks real mean and real, real nice. This is definitely the best set here in my opinion, even though it's the most simple color-wise, it just stands out, especially in the amazingly dense and saturated and over-the-top colors and styles popular with the other skin bottles in Valorant. These look like Grandpappy's old strappy, and you know, that's just, that's just what I'm here for, dude. I love when games that are futuristic Definitely have like the throwback art style and when it's used in moderation, it just looks so good. And the Cavalier Collection is exactly that for me. 
Now, we, of course, got a lot of sprays and gun buddies and player cards, but I wanted to stick to the skins because those kind of make or break the battle pass. Overall, I think this is a pretty strong bunch of skins for my personal taste, but this is literally the most subjective part of Valorant. How do you guys feel about these skins? Let us know and keep it civil because skin opinions can get heated quickly, unless you're going to talk about about Cavalier because I'll find you. And that's all we have for today. On a personal note, this week has been the weirdest I've covered in terms of new update news. Usually these things follow a pattern, and this week didn't follow a normal one at all. I mean, case in point, Riot doesn't normally do major reveals on a weekend, which meant I was busy with other stuff and couldn't jump on this right away. Hence why we turn this into an everything you might have missed or need to know video instead of breaking news. But uh, you know, hey, that's just kind of how show business goes and you just need to learn to deal with it if you're going to be in this business, so, you know, we'll power on through. Still, so much cool info here, so make sure you jump in those comments and get chatting about it. While you are down there, make sure to like and subscribe as well for more news and guides just like this one, with one goal in mind, helping you be a better player. We here at SkillCamp would like to thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.